Hi everyone, today we're going to take a look at the best micro addicts cases in the market for this year. First, we're going to show you our top 10 best picks, and we'll talk about what you should look for before buying a micro addicts cases. You can find links to all of the products we've mentioned in this video down in the description below. Let's get started. At the first position of our list, we have Antec Dapper Dark Phantom DP301. It's 2022, and the first thing to look at inside a PC case is RGB lights and thankfully, Antec Dapper Dark comes laden with RGB strips to lighten up your mood. It is a micro addicts case with a solid metal chassis and tempered glass on one side. The front of the case looks amazing with RGB LEDs, glowing at a normal pace and the combination of mesh grill and matte black exterior also adds to the beauty of this case. Furthermore, you'll find a radiator mount on the top of the case next to an I-slash-O panel that holds two USB 3.0 ports along with an LED control button. The inside of the case is just as good and offers a spacious environment where you could easily fit the latest components. A graphics card with a length of less than 36 can could easily fit inside this micro -X case. As for the airflow, you could install additional radiators and 120 fans to maximize the airflow. Unfortunately, you won't be getting any additional fans with this case. Moreover, Antec Dapper Dark is easy to assemble, and we'd recommend it to anyone who's looking for a future-proof micro addicts case. Moving on to the next at number 2 with Thermaltake Level 20 VT. Nope, this one is not an icebox to keep your beverages cold. Thermaltake Level 20 VT is a sophisticated micro addicts case with tempered glass on all four sides. For minimalistic geeks, Thermaltake Level 20 VT would be the cleanest rig that you can build inside a micro addicts case. At the first glance, the case looks quite attractive and it seems like it could easily fit an addicts PSU and a twin fan graphics card. However, the case is very fragile and you'll have to be extremely careful when you're assembling this one. Durability-wise, if you're careful then Thermaltake Level 20 VT could serve you for years but for efficient airflow. You might need to add a couple of heat sinks to avoid overheating issues. Furthermore, Thermaltake Level 20 VT features an advanced I-slash-O panel with compatibility for USB 3.0. Also, Thermaltake Level 20 VT is spacious enough to fit a liquid cooling piping inside of it to keep the temps on the down low. If you're building a high-end rig then instead of adding 120 fans, we recommend the liquid cooling system to be installed inside this case for low temps and higher durability. The number 3 position is held by Cooler Master Masterbox in R400. If you're looking for a case with the strongest chassis, then Cooler Master Masterbox in R400 would be an excellent choice. Masterbox in R400 features a grayish exterior with side tempered glass and a dotted grille at the front with a 120M fan featured on the front of the case for better airflow. Similarly, there's another 120M at the rear grille of the case to maximize the airflow, and we don't think that you will need any more additional fans for temperature management. Additionally, there's a radiator mount on the top lid, right next to the I-slash-O panel. Furthermore, an R400 might be compact in size, but it features three slots for 3.5 and two slots for 2.5 additional drives. A dual graphics card would be quite easy to fit in there along with a tall CPU heatsink. Moreover, there's also additional space behind the side metallic panel for cable management as well, and if you're a cable modder then an R400 would be a dream come true for you. At this price, we think that an R400 is an excellent choice, and it adheres to budget. Unlike some other overrated micro addicts cases, Cooler Master in R400 offers the best bang for the buck. Next at number 4, we have Corsair Crystal 200 Adix. For our fellow gamers with deep pockets, Corsair Crystal 200 Adix isn't a bad choice either. It offers a wide clearance for graphics cards along with additional space for storage devices and cable management. Corsair Crystal 200 Adix features a very unique design where you will get two different front panels. One of them features a mesh grill where you'll find two RGB fans. And on the other side, there's a solid matte black chassis that features the ice slash O panel on top of it. Additionally, there's a side tempered glass on the left side and a mesh type sort of grill at the right side of the case to maximize the airflow. However, this strangely placed gap on the left side of the case isn't really ideal because it's quite difficult to clean that part of the case. As for the price, Corsair Crystal 200 Adix is quite expensive and you'll have to pay a good amount to get your hands on this one. 
and eight. If you're looking for the best bang for the buck, then this case is probably too much for you. The number five position is held by Fractal Design Core 1100. For those looking for a budget oriented option, this is the one for you. Fractal Design Core 1100 is one of the cheapest micro addicts cases that you can find in the market. It may not feature any RGB strips or tempered glass, but this one will do the job for you. Fractal Design Core 1100 features a blackish metallic chassis with an I-O panel featured on the front of the case, where you'll find Tux's 3.0 ports along with the standard headphone jacks and the power button. On the side panel, there's an exhaust fan mount where you could easily install a 120 fan for better airflow. There are also two more fan mounts in the case to further decrease the temps. This case is very compact and could only handle a few additional devices, and the clearance for graphics isn't very great either. A low-profile graphics card would easily fit inside of it, but anything with a twin fan is not a viable option with this one. As for durability, Fractal Design Core 1100 features a solid chassis that would serve you for many years to come. If you're looking for a cheap micro ADX case, then Fractal Design Core 1100 is a very decent choice. The number six position is dominated by Thermaltake Zone 100. It's safe to say that Thermaltake Zone 100 is one of the most attractive micro ADX cases in the market, and its mouth-watering sleek metallic chassis will leave you in awe. Thermaltake Zone 100 is another excellent choice if you're looking for a high-end micro ADX case for your battle station. Thermaltake Zone 100 features a spacious interior that can hold a GPU with a maximum length of 12.9 and a tall CPU cooler with a maximum height of 11 in. Furthermore, there are more than a handful of additional trays for you to install 3.5 and 2.5 storage devices. The biggest perk of Thermaltake Zone 100 is the magnetic filters on the top grill of the case that restricts dust particles from getting too close to the internals. A dust-free case would keep the internals safe for a very long time, whereas a dusty one will slowly damage the heat sinks that cause overheating problems. Final verdict, we're quite impressed with this exceptional case, and the price is also quite reasonable. It's durable and future proof and we'd really recommend it to a friend. Moving on to the next at number 7 with Fantex Evolve. Fantex Evolve is a unique smallest micro addicts case with a very complex design that is a bit hard to describe. At the first glance, it looks like a descendant of Optimus Prime, but no, it's just a compact gaming chassis with dual chamber openings. On the left side, you'll find tempered glass with magnetic hinges that are quite easy to access. Similarly, on the right side, there's a smoked glass that also comes with magnetic hinges that offer durability to its users when assembling their rigs. Fantex Evolve is a very clean case, and by the looks of it, it seems like there's enough clearance for a twin fan, graphics card, and a tall CPU heatsink. However, we didn't see any 120 fan mounts inside this case, but if you have the budget, you could easily fit a water cooling radiator inside it. Furthermore, the I/O panel is displayed on the top of the front panel, where you can find USB 3.0 ports along with the traditional headphones jack and power button. Additionally, there are some expansion slots for 3.5 and 2.5 drives as well. Fantex Evolve could be a bit expensive for a few, but it is worth every single penny. The number 8 position is held by Thermaltake Core V21. If you travel a lot, then buying Thermaltake Core V21 will make a lot of sense to you. We've had some complicated PC cases over the past few years, but Thermaltake Core V21 might still seem like alien technology to us. It's a square-shaped box with a mesh grill at the front that comes with a pre-installed 200 fan and a similar grill on the top lid for external fans and cooling radiators. Furthermore, both sides feature tempered glass and use the chamber system where you can easily open both side panels and assemble the internals whenever you want. You'll also find the ice slash o panel next to the tempered glass on the left side, which is a bit awkward, but we could say the same thing for the whole case. The inside of the case is quite spacious, and it seems like you could easily throw in a twin fan GPU. Similarly, a water cooling system could also be installed inside of this one. Furthermore, you'll find 3x3.5 slots in there, which is surely more than enough for a case of this caliber. For this price, we think that it's a very good bargain, and we'd really recommend it to our readers. Next at number 9, we have Cooler Master Silency OS 400 SHHH. No noise allowed. If you're looking for a case that makes the minimum noise, then you won't have to look any further because Cooler Master Silency OS 400 is the best that you're going to get. 
This Silent Micro Addicts case comes laden with sound dampening sheets that significantly reduce the noise levels coming out of the case. Moving on at the first glance, Silent Co S400 looks like a very clean case with a grayish exterior that is a sight for sore eyes. You won't find any tempered glass with this case, but there's an opening on the top side of the case for cooling radiators that are also covered with a sound dampening panel. Similarly, both the side panels are featured with sound dampening sheets, which is great for reducing the noise but for better airflow. We don't think that it's quite effective. The interior of the case also looks very neat and clean, but it's not quite spacious. There's just enough clearance for a graphics card to fit in there that is shorter than 9.7 in. But for this price, you would be getting yourself a pretty sweet deal. Finally, the number 10 position is dominated by Rosewill FBMX2. Last but not the least, Rosewill FBMX2 is another micro addicts case that you should take a closer look at. For gamers that are looking for aesthetic modern cases then, Rosewill FBMX2 would be a dream come true. It features a minimalist design with solid matte black chassis back with a spacious interior where you can throw in all kinds of radiators and modern graphics cards. Rosewell FBMX2 also offers excellent features like cable management, four expansion slots for 3.5 and 2.5 drives, exceptional airflow, and mounts for cooling radiators. Furthermore, it features a simple i slash o panel at the top with two USB 3.0 ports along with headphone jacks. The only downside of Rosewill FBM X2 is that it only comes with a 1 Xone 120 m pre-installed fan, but there's enough space to mount up to 5 Xone 120 m fans. I guess you will have to buy the additional fan yourself if you're looking for top-notch airflow that will keep the temps on the down low. Rosewell FBM X2 is more than a pleasing option and for this price, I suggest you quickly get your hands on this one. That's all for today. We upload computer and accessories product review videos every single day. So, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for the upcoming video notification.